How you going guys and it's Outback Gaming here and again welcome back to Enshrouded. So today we are here and we're going to do a bit of basic base building uh, just to show you how it's done. Uh, first off we'll get rid of that wolf I reckon. How about that? Alright. So we're using our character from the um, our, our save um, that we've been doing and we're in the solo YouTube world. Uh, where we're going to start doing guides and stuff. So the other video, the other world will you continue playing uh, for the meantime, but this is where all the guides will be done uh, just so I am safe from people joining if that ever is a thing in the future. But anyways, so without further ado, we want to pick a base. Now obviously when you first start the game, here is your um, starting location. Um, so we can basically put a base down if we want to here um, and then we'll go from there so you can basically put it straight down and then uh, if you wanted to move it at a later date so for to build a base there is a few things that you need the first thing is you got to claim uh, build a flame altar okay so we'll craft that okay so once you have crafted your flame altar, you'll come in here. Um, you obviously won't have as much stuff as I've got. Uh, you'll come in here and you'll grab your flame altar. So we'll put down the altar pretty much in the center. Now there is a few things cool about the altar. Uh, so if you communicate with him, you can upgrade the altar to an 80 by 80 by 80. And I'm guessing earlier on once you get the next shroud. And we'll cover that once we find a shroud. And then the next one, you can also upgrade your time inside the shroud itself. So at the moment, we only get five minutes and then you get six. So that's a cool thing. And then you got obviously reset points. But how do we build a base? So the next thing you're going to need is your build hammer. So you can get a construction hammer. So you need one stone to build a construction hammer. You'll also need to build a workbench. So we'll go ahead and purchase the workbench and place the workbench on the ground. Now you can pick this up um, without losing any resources. It just goes straight back into your into your uh, inventory. Once you have done that, there is another few things that you need. You need wood and you need plant fiber. Wood can be found uh, obviously at trees and plant fiber can be found in these little bushes. So you can collect plant fiber from the bushes as also twigs uh, and you should be able to find some twigs and wood from bashing down some trees as well. Once you have found all of those pieces, now you bear in mind that plant fiber does not come from the harvested berries all that often, but it will sometimes drop plant fiber. Most of the time you'll just find plant fiber in amongst bushes like this. Um, if you can't find any plant fiber, obviously you'll need to wait until it respawns uh, or go out and find some more. Or make a new world, go and get it, come back, and you'll have plant fiber. So you can travel to other people's worlds and uh, steal their stuff and come back. <laughs> um, so yeah, once you've done that, you come back here to your bench. Now we've already got some plant fiber and we've already got some wood. So now we can make some rough wood blocks. We've also got some stone here. Now we can't make any stone blocks uh, because we don't have any room, but we'll go ahead and make some wood ones. Just uh, quite a few of them. We'll grab some plant fibers as well. Uh, and let's go ahead and build a, I reckon a storage. So what do we got here? Storage. So we need um, some room for that. Uh, we don't actually have a lot of room. Um, so we need to kind of uh, think on what we can get rid of. Um, da -da 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 -da. We'll get rid of this one, one bowman, one piece of bow. So we'll grab a storage. We'll grab him and we'll put that in our um, build area. So we'll grab the berries and chuck in there. So we'll place that down and then pretty much transfer anything that we don't need uh, over to the other side. Uh, bear in mind that now this is in this world. Uh, if you want to take it back to the other world, you have to put it back in your um, box. Okay, 
Um, what, what do we got? So, obviously I want to keep that. We want to keep all of those. Put the wood logs away. We'll put the bandages. Uh, I will keep the wood over there. Bandages can go there. Health can go there for a little while. I just got to remember to bring them back out to the next world. Uh, we'll put our food in there and... Yeah, now yeah, we got a bit of room. Okay, so once we've got that, we press tab. Now, I'm going to untab it. While you've got the construction hammer in your hands, you have a box here. Now, you can build right up to it, but what I have found, if you build right up to the corner here with a 4x4, four four, okay, alright, you can do that. And then if you want a wall, you can do that too. Alright, and then we rotate that, um, and then we do the wall like that. And then, if I want a roof, however, the roof will not go up here because it is creeping outside the build area, as you can see. So you can't do that. All right. Once you have done that, unfortunately, there's going to be a giant hole in the ground. How do we rectify the giant hole in the build menu? So down here, you press Alt, you go to Terrain, and you come across a two-meter piece of cube. You can also get rocks. Um, you could get ramps, all sorts of different things. So we're just going to go here and we are going to place a cube, a rock cube, and it just filters the ground back in. So the ground is now back to normal. Okay, so first off, let's do a basic four by four. So you just place one, uh, you can place it as high as you want, so we'll just go there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. The next thing is a door arch. You're gonna want a door arch. You, now, you don't have to have the door there. You can have it like in the very center of the house, which I'm gonna do right here. I'll show you that. So I'll do that. Now, the, obviously this wall is not gonna go there. So maybe, uh, what have we got? We've got a column. So we can put two columns there. Uh, or you can come here and get the two meter wall and place the two meter wall either side of the house. You could also do uh, two windows would probably be better like so and now we go back to our other uh, wall so I'm pressing alt and scrolling through as soon as I let alt go it goes back down to like that uh, so we'll do that with a window here uh, we'll put I reckon a window at the back as well rotate that and put the window in line which means we'll have to go to the two meter wall and two meters on either side and we'll go back to the four meter wall just by pressing alt and you'll see the key binds down the bottom so R is rotate which is cool uh, there it is really, really easy to build in this game. There will be an advanced build guide coming out once I get further into it um, because you unlock more build pieces at time. So roofs need to be uh, at the start of the game is plant fibers, not wood. Uh, so kind of like thatch, I guess, if you remember from Ark. Um, and then once you've done that, please do not right click while you get the build hammer uh, activated because it will remove as you can see so press tab uh, to uh, deactivate that so once you are inside your house you will notice that you have sheltered and comfort level five now to get the rest of it uh, so to get warmth you're going to need to go to your uh, your uh, workshop or whatever you want to call it, the workbench, and you're going to want to build a fireplace. So we'll grab the fireplace and it gives us two plus comfort. Okay. Now we'll come over here, place this fireplace anywhere inside the building and plonk him like so. Now that we have a fireplace, you'll see that we are rested and we're gaining rested uh, XP. So while you're out and about in the world, if you're still got the timer, your XP will uh, be somewhat uh, a little bit better, uh, which is cool. And you're pretty much going to have uh, a better time out there. You get 10 minutes. That 10 minutes flies. Trust me, it does fly. Uh, the way to upgrade that 
is you come over here and you can craft a bed. Now we need string to craft that bed, so we'll come over here, we'll craft some string. Um, we'll craft some more. And then we'll go back to the workbench and have a look at a bed. Now we can craft a bed. And you'll see that the crafting gives us one extra comfort. And we got some wood here. So I think what we might do is we will have a look at a table. Now because it's small, I reckon we grab a small table and a bed and like a nightstand just to make it look nice. We'll grab a chair. Um, we don't really need a bench, but we'll grab it anyway. Um, and we'll grab a bed. All right, so we'll come on in here. We'll place our bed down in the corner here, next to the window. And let's put the nightstand here as well. And we'll make sure that we can kind of see the drawer. I think that's the drawer. Place the nightstand right there. And then we'll grab our bench. We'll put our bench like over here. Go back. Is that the nightstand? Ah, okay, my bad. <laughs> That's the nightstand, so we'll pick up the seat, my bad. I don't know why I did that, but okay, so anyways. So we'll pick up this nightstand here, place the nightstand next to our bed. Uh, then we'll grab our small table and place that here next to this window. And then grab our seat and place it right there like so. Now you can see that the um, level comfort is now level 9. And the higher the level, right, the higher the level, the better it is. Um, so now we're basically in a comfort area. I don't know what the max level comfort is, and I will be indefinite looking forward to doing that. Uh, and we'll see what else happens in the future. Another thing you can do as well, you can also come in here and build some windows. And we've also can build some wooden doors. Uh, how you get wooden doors, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll figure that out. Uh, so windows, we have, uh, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. So we've got some windows here that we can go ahead and place in the cavities. So we can put one there, rotate that, put it in there, and there. And if you delete the wall, you have to come and pick up the windows. The windows will just sit there floating. Okay, now it kind of looks very homey. They're not like, they're still letting the air in, but it just, yeah, makes it really nice looking. Uh, and then that's the house. So I'm hoping it comes daytime soon so we can actually have a look at what this looks like. Um, and yeah, you'll, you'll, the building is your oyster. It's all voxels. It's voxel building. It's probably one of the best voxel building games I have seen um so far today so we'll get our torch out and you can see it is pretty cool now later on you'll get like um illumination i don't know if we've got it already uh we do actually have it so let's go uh so we have a standing torch we got a wall torch so we'll grab some wall torches like so and these burn consistently um, they don't ever, I don't think they ever run out and you can just build like that and then you've got some, um, lovely looking, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, but you don't have to, you can build like one here and then another, another building over here. You don't have to have them connected in whatsoever. So you can have like a little village if you want. Um, so yeah, the basics of building is just insane. Uh, Vans building um, later on you can build into um, you can build into the ground you can build into the mountains like it, it is insane you get your pickaxe out and where you can start digging into the ground and then you can um, basically build into the ground so if you ever wanted to build your little hobbit home be my guest start building a hobbit home uh, and you'll you'll enjoy it all right Thanks again, guys, for joining us. And uh, until next time, uh, yeah, see you later. This was the basic building guide uh, for you, and I really hope it does help. Thank you very much, guys.